Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be about don't let debt spoil your retirement. We live in an uncertain world at the minute. 90% of the guys that come here have suffered some financial uh, troubles before they come here. Maybe it's through divorce or the businesses or they've lost their jobs and things like that. So don't let the debt destroy your retirement plans because at the end of the day, sticking your head in the sand and not dealing with your debt problems is a way for a disaster. Now let's face it, we've all been in debt at one time or another and it's the way you get out of it. But the trouble is, when you get older, the less chance or the less recovery time that you've got. Say for instance, if you retire at 60 years old, so let's say you have some financial problems at 60 years old to be able to totally resolve your debt problem. So you need to take appropriate action to get out of debt or at least control your debt. Now there are various agencies that will help you, free agencies, for like for England, it's the Citizens Advice Bureau. If you've got any debt problems, they will help you. And I'm sure there's the same type of agencies in America, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, or wherever you are in the world. There is always somebody there to help you. You may not be happy with the, the answers of what to do, but at the end of the day, sticking your head in the sand is never ever a good idea to solve your problems. Now, like I say, those people that watch my channel, they know I think outside of the box. So a solution to your problems, it won't totally make them go away, but it may give you some breathing space and it may be able to actually put you back onto a stable footing whilst you're paying your debts off as well. So, okay, let's use an example of a British guy, 60 years old, who's got maybe he's 15, 20,000 pounds worth of debt. Yeah, there are people with more debt than that that I know over here living in Thailand. And with the cost of living crisis now with one thing and another, you may be struggling on your pension. Take for instance for me. Now let's use my example of how much money I live on here, 1,200 pounds a month. Now I couldn't possibly live on 1,200 pounds a month in the UK. So as far as debt repayment, going through the citizen's advice, I'd end up paying five or 10 pounds a month, something like that, or maybe 20 pounds a month. It won't be a lot of money because at 1,200 pounds a month, that's not enough to live on in the UK. So you could actually get your debt sorted out. It's not running away from your debt, it is controlling your debt before you do retirement and getting a payment plan in place. Now. If you struggle to live on the 1,200 pounds a month in the UK, look further afield. Look to a country that 1,200 pounds a month, because it's the same amount of money that you've got. You live a far better lifestyle for 1,200 pounds a month in a different country than you do in the UK. Now it's not running away from your debts because I think you've still got the responsibility to pay your debt back. But if you're only paying five or 10 pounds or 20 pounds a month or so, you've got a bit more money to play around with. So therefore, if you need to look at a different country to give you a better lifestyle on the same amount of money, why not do it? You're still paying your debts off, you've still got it sorted out through the courts and through the agency that can help you sort your debts out. It's just that you decide to live in a different country. Like I said, it's an out of the box thought with regard to living a retired life, but I know what it's like to be in debt because I've been in debt and I've had the, all of the letters and all the nightmares that go along with it. So my advice is to think outside of the box, get your financial situation put right and live a happier, better life on the amount of money that you've got. And all I can say is that you can live a better life elsewhere in the world than where you are at present now with the same amount of money. But you're still paying your debts off. That's the beauty of it all but it's controllable. Your head isn't in the sand. Think out the box. Think what you can do. Debt shouldn't ruin your retirement. Again, this is not avoiding your debts. It is taking control of your debts and being able to pay your debts, albeit at a much reduced rate. And you're probably paying five to 20 pounds a month. You're never ever gonna pay them off, but you haven't run away for it and you're taking some responsibility and in your golden years of retirement, you can still live a comfortable life. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, put it a thumbs down. Please leave your comments down below. I'd be interested to read. 
So from Les, we're trying to live the dream. Bye for now.